you ever think of anything besides marriage? I do. Oh. Hi, Ma. Hi, darling. <laughs> what are you doing here? I got to tell you about my lunch with Jack and Marsha. Oh, and I was having such a nice day. So we're sitting, we're eating, uh -huh. and as usual, Jack is going on and on about Marsha. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Marsha and her doctor husband, yeah. Marsha and her four-carat solitaire, Marsha and her beachfront property right next to Dan Marino. How the hell was Dan Marino? How the hell should I know? <laughs> anyway, I was just about to scream when they asked me about you. So I told them that you eloped with a rich Broadway producer and you're living in a palace on the Upper East Side. Oh, Ma, what's the matter with you? Ma, you left out the butler. <laughs> Meanwhile, how'd they take the good news? Crushed? Devastated. Better. You should have seen the look on their face. I would have liked to. You will. <laughs> oh, no, no way, Ma. Where are they? Looking for a place to park. <laughs> They found one. Oh, forget it, Ma. I'm not doing this. Fine. That's your choice. It's good to have choices. Not that I had a choice when I was in labor with you for 10 hours <laughs> with that big head. Sorry, it won't happen again. Darling, do it for me. It'll shut Jack up once and for all. Oh, Ma, is it really so important to you that I have to pretend to be something I'm not? Would you? Oh. Hi. Well, you caught a husband. Thank God you're not an old maid anymore. <laughs> Welcome to my home. Granny, I still want you. And uh, something tells me you still want me, too. I don't. I don't. <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> no, I'm not coming back here so that I can waste another three years of my life waiting for you not to ask me to marry you. All right, all right, I'm gonna do it right now. Come here. Franny Fine, will you marry me? What? I'm asking you to marry me. I miss you. I love you. Come on, what do you say? What do I say? You let me on for three years. You cheated on me. You fired me. So? So I'm gonna have to think about it. <laughs> Are you sure you want to waste that on a nanny retirement party? Oh, Niles, Mona is one of my closest friends. I want to look nice for her. Cardiologist convention in the next ballroom? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> well, I wouldn't get too attached to the bloke if I were you. We all know Miss Fine's relationships eventually end in disaster. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <gasps> Sweet and sour cabbage. Hit me again. <laughs> such a big coin for such a little girl. He asked you to marry him? Uh -huh. You've barely known the man for two weeks. Mm -hmm. What, you think it's so hard to believe a man would fall in love with me that fast? Yeah, Todd and I knew each other three minutes before I got a pudding pack right in the eye. <laughs> there you go. Look, you know nothing about this man. All right, so he's a doctor. Is he a specialist? <laughs> You ain't just whistling Dixie, baby. Oh, God. Oh, this is so exciting. So can I be a bridesmaid? I know the doctor asked me to marry him, but I didn't say yes. <laughs> this is delicious. Why don't you grab a knife and stick it straight through my heart? <laughs> That was great. She sounded just like, ah! <laughs> Let go of my ankle! You better run. Right? Is she taking off her shoe? No, but she's gonna hurl a corn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Come on. Put down the 
vegetable. And no one gets hurt. <laughs> All right. Help me to understand which was the biggest turnoff. The fact that Jules was gorgeous, rich, or a doctor. Did I mention he was Jewish? <gasps> Darling, I only say this because I love you. You're a glorified cleaning girl. <laughs> this could be your last chance. Oh, Ma, I didn't say no. I just said I think about it. OK, I did. You mean I do? Yeah! Oh. Ma, you may kiss the bride. Mm -hmm. mwah, 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 mwah. You know, Miss Fine, I think you're very wise not to rush into this. You're far too sensible a woman to marry a man you just. Ow! Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Accidentally puncture your tuchus? <laughs> Miss Fine, I thought a spot of hot tea and a little pound cake might help. Oh, Mr. Sheffield. Does it have a glaze on it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's wrong with me? Why can't I meet the right guy? Every time I think something's going right, something weird happens. You say you love me, and then you take it back. Another guy turns out to be a thief, then it's your brother, which you know nothing about. Moving on. <laughs> God, Miss Fine, I can't take this anymore. Watching you with Bob, watching you with all these other dates, constantly getting involved with men who are no good for you. Miss Fine, it's time I did something I should have done ages ago. Oh, Mr. Sheffield, what are you saying? Oh, wait a second. I have a feeling this is going to be a memorable moment, and I want to have my lips on. <laughs> Miss Fine. Yes, Mr. Sheffield? I think it's time I sent you to a therapist. <laughs> Not a lipstick moment. <laughs> a pound cake moment. <laughs> uh, Fran, why exactly uh, uh, did you come here? Uh, well, because Mr. Sheffield's paying. <laughs> and who is Mr. Sheffield? Well, he's the guy I live with. Actually, my boss. But he told me that he loved me, and then he took it back. Before anything happened, except for the time that I saw him naked, which was really an accident, like the time that I woke up with him in bed. <laughs> but, you know, this isn't the problem. <laughs> oh, 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 you're serious? <laughs> Well, um, you know what I'd like to do, Fran? A little word association. I I'm going to say a word, and then you just tell me whatever comes to mind. Okay. You'd be amazed what we can uncover. Um, coffee? Cake. <laughs> no, it hasn't begun yet. I'm just offering. Oh, what, cake? Coffee. Pass. <laughs> uh, right. Let's begin. Okay. Here's the first word. <clears throat> um, man. Husband. Doctor. And Mrs. <laughs> Pen. Prenup. Uh, be a little stuck here, friend. Oh. Uh, try opening your mind to all possibilities. Oh, OK, OK. Uh, China. Pattern. <laughs> Fish. Or chicken. Do you ever think of anything besides marriage? I do. <laughs> Frank, you, you're, you're suffering from an obsession. You know? Now, in order to solve this, we're going to have to work together. You'll have to come to see me three times a week. And I'll just call my contractor and tell him to begin work on the new spa. <laughs> <laughs> well, Dr. Miller, I don't have an obsession. I just really, really, really want to be married. <laughs> What you need is not a man, Fran. You need confidence. And until you start working on that, you'll end up in an unhealthy, codependent relationship like the one I had with my ex-wife. You're single? Night, John. Hello, darling. Flowers. 
Would you rather have candy, clothes, oh, diamonds? Stop it. Diamonds? <laughs> well, I happen to have one right here. Oh, my God. <laughs> Nigel, it's... Gorgeous! Oh, I don't know anything about diamonds. Oh, pure white, 1.76 carats. No occlusions. It's beautiful. And so are you. How's that fantastic body? Still a regular boogie wonderland? Oh, you don't know the half of it. <laughs> what are you, caught in a butler trap? <laughs> Gnaw your foot off and get moving. <laughs> Miss me? Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> God, I missed you. Uh, you send that bottle of champagne to Glenn Close, yeah? Um, oh, remember, Mr. Sharfield, you met your brother, Nigel. <laughs> Yes, Nigel, listen, I'm awfully sorry I haven't spent more time with you, but, uh, well, I'm sure Miss Fine's been entertaining you. <laughs> oh, yeah, she's been incredible. <laughs> and a Martha Stewart kind of way. Well, it's about bloody time. I asked for this bottle hours ago. Well, good things come to those who wait. Mm. Unless they wait too long and then they slip through their nemby bemby fingers. <laughs> you know, Fran, I could have sworn when Max just walked in, you acted as if you were cheating on him. No, just because I pushed you off of me and started to act defensive. <laughs> no, you probably never had your parents catch you playing spin the bottle with your first cousin. <laughs> so then it's all right to say, I think I've found my other half. And to give you this ticket for the QE2. Oh, Nigel, so many presents. And it's not even Hanukkah. Fran, I'm leaving tonight. And I want you to come with me. Oh, Nigel, I'm not that kind of girl. I'm asking you to be my wife. I'm that kind of girl. <laughs> Are you proposing? I, I, I know. Max has always accused me of being impulsive, but I've fallen in love with you. And I'm not letting you get away. Oh, my God. You two are like day and night. Cain and Abel. Tommy and Dickie Smothers. <laughs> the ship sails at midnight. Start packing. Oh, Nigel, this is a huge decision. I mean, what about the kids? I, I just can't abandon them. Although, this would make me their aunt now. I'll wait for you on the pier. If you don't come, I know the answer's no. No, don't. It's, it's too fast. I can't. I'm sorry. Mm. You said midnight, right? <laughs> but perhaps Miss Fine has reached a point in her life where she wants a little more. What do you mean, a little more? How do you know, sir? A little something extra, like... Uh... He propels! He propels! That. <laughs> what? What do you mean, he proposed? Well, I knew he was up to something, because he started with that shut the door, shut the door. <laughs> Miss Fine, how could the man possibly want to marry you? Pardon moi? Well, I mean, he barely even knows you. Well, some people know what they want as soon as they see it. Because unlike other people, they are in touch with their feelings and are not afraid to express them. Do point, do carrots. Just what exactly are you saying? What are you saying? I'm not saying anything. Bingo! Au revoir. <laughs> Tell me over the phone. Happy Mother's Day! Ah! <laughs> Are you pregnant? No! Ah! Oh, I can't believe that Mr. Sheffield finally proposed to you. Oh, no, Ma, it's not Mr. Sheffield. It's Philippe, the guy that I've been seeing. Someone proposed to you without even meeting your mother? You know, I never made that connection before. <laughs> no. 
Philippe. I don't like this at all. Oh, my, you're gonna love Philippe. He is the most passionate, sensuous man I've ever met. You should see him eat a piece of fruit, tearing it apart like an animal, juice dribbling down his chin, wiping it with his sleeve. I'll tell you, it reminds me a lot of Daddy. <laughs> Sweetheart, don't go by the sex. Don't go by the looks. I made that mistake with your father. <laughs> the man that I let my daughter marry has to live up to my standards, darling. Bonjour, chérie. My son! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Fran, this thing with you and Dad is so romantic. I just hope that the same thing happens to me someday. Well, except for the fact that I'd become a cleaning lady and uh, wait around for six years for the man that I love to finally make a move. <laughs> oh, I know it's like a fairy tale. <laughs> oh, Nanny Fine, cute coat. How many Muppets had to die for that? <laughs> you know, I can understand you being bitter, but honey, when you stay too long at the fair, a man loses respect. Another three years, and I was out that door myself. You know, Nanny Fun, I think it is so precious how you think Maxwell saying he loves you means something. <laughs> well, I think it's pretty obvious that he's not taking it back this time. Oh, no, he's not going to take it back. He's going to drag this thing on and on and on until you get disgusted and die. <laughs> But like a cockroach, I was here long before you, and I'll be here long after you're gone. <laughs> oh, my God! Oh, Mr. Sheffield! Oh, oh, you heard what happened! Oh, I got mugged. I was oh, on my no. way home to you, and... Oh, oh. I'm sorry I'm so late. Oh, that's okay. As long as you're all right, who cares? I should have fought back harder. No, no, no. They say you never fight back. You just give them what they want. You don't argue. You don't get aggressive. They got the ring. I'll kill them! <laughs> I mean, I mean, what ring? Oh, Fran, I wanted tonight to be the most romantic night of your life. I know. I wanted... Wait a minute, wait a Fran. Yes. Will you marry me? Oh, Max. You know, it's all so sudden. <laughs> well, will you? What do you think? <laughs> 